would yes. that violate any sort of law? I, it, it, the answer to that question is going to come down to, I think, camp, a campaign finance question, which I can't answer. My advice to Ms. Jacobson would be that if she's looking to promote uh, registering people in a specific party, uh, I would advise her to reach out to some of that party's leadership to coordinate with them, some of which are sitting in this room. Right here. Uh, so I would strongly suggest that if she's looking to promote that, she should talk to some of the people here, and they can probably guide her. Uh, but on spec, I'd say no. But I, I'm not a lawyer, and I don't do campaign funding. So. Hey, Alan, uh, she could call the state campaign finance board at five one eight four seven four eight two zero zero. And they are, they're very, very good. I, I deal with them a lot. Can you give again this sure. number so she can? So deal, uh, the number is 518, hold area on, code. Hold on, hold on. 518. 574-8200. Right, that's State Campaign Finance Board. Any questions you have? You can speak with them. They'll gladly run through any uh, details that, that you might need to answer. Okay. Good luck with that. Thank you. Five more minutes. Great. Five more minutes. Great. I'll go here and then I'll come over here. I have an interesting question. I hope you don't mind. I, you know, I feel that as a Republican in this state, I'm not represented at all because Democrats mm -hmm. can just outnumber us no matter what. Should we no, start pushing for in-state electoral college so that we can actually be represented better? Because I feel that right now, we really have no representation. I mean, I pay taxes, and right now with uh, the Blasio and Cobra passing laws, which are really benefiting people that are not even legal here, okay, over us, okay, I mean, I work, I pay like 20% less than we week. Right. All right. Can we have an in-state electoral college so that we can actually be represented? No. So I, I, I don't know exactly what you mean by in-state electoral college. But for the national level, for the electors. So I, I, I will, I will say this: that that the the makeup of our current system of government is codified into the state constitution. So any change to that would need to go through a legislative. Process, which is a <laughs> so, but but here's my thing. It's not, you know, the. I'm speaking for myself and nobody. I don't think the answer is to change the system. I think the answer is to, and I've said this probably five times. We need to be more active, right? If we're looking to to do this, it's not. There's not an inconsiderable amount of people in this room. It's a Sunday afternoon in February, and there's a lot of people here. Which Thirty-five. Means, you know, there's, there's, you know, this is not, people being concerned with how government is functioning in New York City is not an uncommon opinion. We just need to do a better job reaching out to them and organize. That's how we, that's how you win elections. You, or, you, no taxation without representation. And since we're not represented, we're not even the We have uh, one more last question on the floor before we uh, conclude with our guest speaker. And that would be, go ahead. Okay, Ray, two things. First of all, there's that dirty word gerrymandering. A lot of people were complaining about, uh, let's say, Democrats that have expressed, let's say, anti-Semitic issues or things like that. In one case, without mentioning a name, but he was involved with the Trump impeachments, okay. that person represents both part of Brooklyn and part of Manhattan. I have no idea who Now, when that <laughs> type of situation exists, yeah. Does the Brooklyn Board of Elections work with that, or is that something by so, uh, by county? I'll tell you. I'll tell you how it was done in the past, work? and how it, how I uh, my understanding of the system because there was a change on it. Right, the lines are drawn every ten years. The local boards do not have an, uh, do not have a seat at the table in terms of how legislative lines are drawn. What we end up doing is election district lines. Right, that's what the board will then supplement it. The congressional lines that you're referring to were drawn by a federal judge 10 years ago, okay? Every other line uh, for statewide office was drawn by uh, a Democrat judge. 
No. Uh, no, 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 not at all. It was, uh, it, it was called LAT4, the Legislative Appointment Task Force on Redistricting, I think is what it stands for. That had um, uh, members of both parties. Uh, it was fairly evenly represented because we had the Senate majority at the time. They have now passed a new system, which is the Independent Redistricting Commission, by which each uh, party from each house gets appointees to. So the Senate majority leader gets two appointees, the Senate minority leader gets two appointees, the Assembly Speaker gets two appointees, the Assembly Minority Leader gets two appointees. All that. I cannot speak to the specifics of that committee because, again, the drawing of those lines is done on that level. And the reason why a judge drew them the congressional line is because that committee 10 years ago couldn't come to an agreement on the congressional line. Right? And then there was some other stuff in court, too, because some of you may remember the election date then moved to June because we had the issue with the military ballots. So, you know, the, the short answer is no, we don't have anything to do with that. So everything you're saying is this one changes this, this one changes that, but you all have a voice and it's always fair and you can, and everybody, you know, you can, you know, every vote counts. And you're, you know, if this one's changed, this district has changed, but, and even though illegal immigrants can't really vote, but once they vote, it's a lot. You know, I mean, you're I just making all these uh, things. That so yeah, I don't really think I said any of that. No. But, but um, you know, that's you're, you're more than you're more than entitled to your opinion on that. I, I, I think the general listen. This is it, we live in a republic, right? And so we elect people to make these decisions for us. That's that's the, our system of government. That's what we have here. Ten percent of people vote. So get out there and vote, everyone. Register. Register your friends. Not a problem. Yeah, yeah, I'll get that. I get you. I'll get you my contact information. Uh, everyone, please give a round of applause. Room. I have information on being a poll worker. I have, if, if anybody knows any, we have a student poll worker program, which actually is great for 17 and 18 year olds looking to get involved in the process. There's information on that. I never go anywhere without giveaways. So we've got pens, we've got the little things for the back of the phones. I've got all sorts of little chachis back there. Uh, so you know, help yourself. Uh, and I'll be, I'll be hanging out in the lobby for a couple of years. Okay. Uh, quick uh, things. Whoever wants to work as, as a poll worker. Whoever wants to work as a poll worker. I'll give you the application. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A couple quick announcements. Meeting still in session. Okay. I'm going to talk. Okay. Next meeting, March 22nd. It's March 22nd in this room, 1.30 to 3.30. Uh, please attend. Uh, great uh, showing today. Thank you for everyone for showing up. So that's March 22nd. Also, for those of you who have not uh, uh, became a member of the Brooklyn Tea Party, uh, you see our treasurer here, Daniel uh, Ramos. Membership for the whole year is $10. Ten dollars for the whole year to support the Brooklyn Tea Party. You can become a member. We appreciate your support. Thank you, Alan, the membership cards. Thank you. Once everyone is sworn in, and they are officially you have your membership cards. Yes. Sign in also, whoever didn't sign in. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I signed it. That's it, all right. Please sign it. The book is in the back. Put your email address so you know when And then pay your bills and join the organization. If you want our email, Oh, my friend, I'll see you the next one. I don't have my car. I don't have my Celeste, I'm going to wait and say hello to Ray. Yeah. We're swearing in. Okay. Yeah. It's still roll we're still rolling. We're still rolling. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna try to pause it. Stop it. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Did you go on? Did you get to hear Gary? I'm gonna pause this for a minute, though.